Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alone and welcome to another Twisted League video. So I have completed 36 medium clues now and I am going to hunt for a mitre of any kind and a stole of any kind in the beginning of this video. So I'm going to be doing Dagonoth tasks and uh, get medium clues and when I finish one task I will complete all the medium clues for that one and uh, hopefully get a mitre or a stole. So I'm only going to show the interesting loots and this is one of the first ones. These are the last adamant parts that I need for a clue step. Doing some farm runs uh, between the clue scrolls and tasks and this is going to be 78 farmings or 2 more levels until another 80 is completed. A lot of clues but no interesting rewards all the way until another magic tree for 79 farming. I think that's one more magic tree for uh, 80 farming so we will definitely get that very soon. Time to open 19 mediums. As I said I don't want to show all the clues so I will uh, be back with all the uniques. So I pretty much drop everything that isn't a unique, so all the uniques that I got from those 19 is in my inventory and that's how I will keep doing it during the entire video. You can see I got 50 medium clues completed for 50 league points and I'm not sure when the next task is but maybe at 100. Okay so just once I'm going to open all of them in a video, so 13 medium clues and uh, the rewards are usually just very bad from these medium clues. I mean the only key things that I keep are the uniques, the purple sweets, uh, the uh, master clues of course and then some nature runes and I think that's pretty much it. If I get some coins as well I guess I keep them but for most of the time I just drop things and then do this and pick up the oh yeah the lobsters and the swordfish uh, as well. Here we go, this is going to be 80 farming and I'm getting a decent amount of snapdragon seeds as well from the Dagonoths so I have actually accumulated quite some uh, snapdragons in the bank so that I will have more restores when I go for future PVMing like alchemical hydra and uh, more slayer experience than uh, what I have at 99 pretty much. Hey, there we go, the stole is completed, ancient stole, pretty good one, looks pretty nice and uh, yeah, that took quite some clue scrolls actually, I'm at 98 now, so that took me roughly 60 medium clues, so soon at that 100 mark as well. 100 medium clues completed, let's see how many points that is, 100 league points, I think the next one is at 250. Actually perfect, I mean, the ranger boots would have been really nice, but the holy sandals is really, really good as well, because they give a 3 plus prayer bonus, and if I get the drake's tooth I think it's called, they give a 5 plus if you turn them into the devout boots, so that's not bad at all actually. First hispori kill ever, let's see what the loot is going to be, and the experience is really interesting as well, 126,000, so just slightly less than a magic tree. And uh, that was 81 farming as well. So I'm at 153 mediums and I've got nothing interesting after the holy sandals. But I wanted to show this because it's another cape fashion. 170 and I get the spiked manacles. I'm not sure. I think they give slightly more strength bonus than room boots. Maybe one or two. So yeah, for strength bonus, it's definitely an upgrade. I actually didn't notice, but 82 farming from actually just picking these white berry bushes and the potato cactuses. I planted them and I'm not replanting them and I'm just harvesting them every day for some supplies. So I have a lot of these keys now, the brimstone keys. I have 22 of them and I just finished 142 alchemical hydra casey. Let's see what I, I get. Alright, so this is all the loot that I got. Pretty decent, some smithing experience, but I actually mainly wanted the snapdragon seeds because that's a lot of restores and I got 8. So I've done a lot of diagonal tasks now and and the incoming after this one kill is actually task number 100 in total. So I will get a lot of points for that as well. 50 league points first off and 450 slayer points at 1.2k now. So I just collected 39 caskets and when I open all of these I will have 250 medium clues completed in total. And look at this on the right side. I've killed like... Okay, first off, 186 mediums in this video so far, plus these 39 incoming, and I have killed a total of 1,569 Dagonauts. So these are all the uniques that I've got so far, and I have 10 caskets left, so I pretty much drop everything else, because it's so useless, it's not really uh, good alks or anything, it's like 2k for some uh, alkyballs and so on. So let's open these 10 last and see what we get. I still do not have a mitre which is really unfortunate. I really expected to get one in 250 mediums in total, but apparently not. I got a total of three stoles. I'm not sure. I only think I showed one of them, but yeah, here we go. This is going to be the last one. Elegant uh, skirts on the last one, but 250 mediums is at least 100 points. 
So having that done is pretty nice and I'm not going to do more mediums now because the next step is at uh, 500 mediums. So look at this, 225 mediums and this is all the loot that I got. Unfortunately, as I said, no miter, which was uh, one of the big things I really wanted to get, but 10 million worth in medium clue rewards. And uh, yeah, pretty cool, I think. I actually just barely missed it. Uh, I don't really keep that good track of these farming levels, but I will do that in the future. But that is 83 farming achieved. So I can do some potions now that I have some potato cactuses, I have the snapdragon potions and so on. So I will put a counter on the top right and see how much experience we get. Okay, so first level coming in, I am making super strength right now, 81 herb lore, pretty nice, I think I will get to 82 or 83. 82 achieved, I think I should have enough actually for 83, so that will be 3 herb lore levels. <laughs> Just barely, I'm going to clean some tower mints here and 83 herb lore achieved, pretty nice, 3 levels from all those potions and I also now have, look at this, I'm going to go to my tab, 81 super restores 3 dose, that is going to be so good for uh, Slayer. So I'm actually going to do 100 easy clues, I've already done one, but uh, there's a lot of milestones you get. I think at 10 you get uh, 10 points maybe, at 25 you get 50, at 50 you get 50 again, and at 100 you get 50 more points. I think that's how it works, so a lot of points to be had there, so let's do it. So meanwhile I do all these clue scrolls, I'm actually going to buy these uh, grape seeds, and I have almost 200 points, so I'm going to start off by buying 50 of them, pretty good experience incoming. Okay, so look at this, you can plant 12 grapes, and look, I check it, 6,000 experience for every single seed. And uh, you get grapes from this, I think one run of them should be like roughly 150 grapes. And so one grape is, for me with 10 times experience, 2,000 cooking experience. So if I get like 1,000 grapes, then that will be 2 million cooking experience that I can super quickly get. And the farming experience, as you can see, is very good alongside it as well. First farming level from the grapes, and you can see every single time I harvest I get 400 experience as well. So every single one of these plants is like 10,000 experience, it's super good. The result from one round of grapes, look at this, 157 grapes, which is uh, roughly 300,000 cooking experience, and 141,000 farming experience. Super, super good. Now, this is a very huge level because at 85 farming, you can go into the highest tier of the farming guild, which is also some points and a master clue step. So it's been a while and I've been fletching, meanwhile doing all these 100 clues, so I have fletched 77,000 broad arrows, you can see 7 million fletching experience, but that's done. First milestone, you can see 10 easy clues, and that gave me 10 points. Second milestone, 25 easies for 50 points. Oh shit, I got uh, flared trousers. They're very useless, but they're actually worth almost a mil in the normal game, which is uh, very nice. It's one of the rarest items from easy clues. Okay, so another milestone incoming here. 50 easy clues, so many different tasks for this, but 50 points again. Oh, so I actually got the bob shirt. That is really nice. If I get a mystic blue bottom, I can do every single elite clue step. One more casket left and I get a wooden shield G, very nice. Uh, but let's open the last one and get the last points for 100 easy clues, 50 points. And unfortunately, I got no vestment pieces from all those easy clues. You can see here 99 easy clues. Unfortunately, this is all that I got. A lot of elegant stuff, but no vestments. If you're planning on doing wines with grapes, by the way, do this. You take all the jugs out here at this bank, you just put the water in on the sink right here, extremely fast, and I'm actually going to do some achievement diaries, I haven't barely completed any of them, so I'm going to complete a few of them now. That's the easy diary completed, I'm not going to turn in for the reward yet, I'm going to complete uh, all the ones I want to do first. A quest I had to do, the Ascent of Archaeos, uh, I think I get some points for that as well, only 10 though, but yeah, and also I get to use this page, or, well, first in favor, but I don't really need that, but uh, I had to use the page on the book, the memoirs, because uh, the step I have to do for a diary is to uh, use all the different teleports on the book that you can, so I can teleport uh, with, I only need one more now. Okay, so that's the Forsaken Tower completed, and that means I have all the pages now for the book, so I actually do need this certif certificate, though, it, uh, I, I only have 30% favor, I think, in Lovakenge, so now I have 40%, very nice, and I have all the pages in the book now, and I got 10 uh, points as well for completing the quest, but that's the diary step completed. Another uh, farming level incoming on the grapes, I have quite a lot of them now, but that is 86 farming achieved. Repaired this crane right here in Piscarillus, and that is all the medium steps completed as well, so I have the two of the diaries done. Okay, 
So I have a lot of points stacked up now. Soon for 3 diaries completed. I also have soon 25 million fletching. I soon have 25 million defense, strength and attack. Soon 50 million hit points. And I mean, I have all the 3 diaries completed very soon. I just need to do architectural alliance. And then I will have even more points stacked up. So also of course, I have... Uh, look at this. 1000 somewhere. There we go. 1161 grapes and I have the water to make all of them that's like 2.2 2.3 million cooking experience which will give me over 80 cooking as well by far so I have a lot of points stacked up and I actually want to get them all in the next video so I want to make the next video all about raising this 13.9k points as high as possible so I'm actually going to end the video here and we will see in the next video how high I can get these points with uh, pretty much completing a lot of the tasks I am very close to right now. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And remember to leave a like if you did. And subscribe if you want to see more of my content and be ready for when I post that next video when I will just skyrocket in points. So see you in the next one guys. Take care.